morning, Garfield. Hi right there. Oh, thanks, Garfield. You're welcome. Garfield, you're everywhere at once. How do you do that? Magic. Amazing. Simply amazing. Thanks, guys. Don't mention it. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulder Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you're For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care Hey, you chewing the gum. I hope you brought enough for everybody. I'm bored. I'm really bored. I'm so bored. Bored am I. I am so bored. I would do absolutely anything to get my mind off how totally, utterly bored I am. <laughs> I'm not that bored. Well, what have we here? Huh? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! I take back one third of all the rotten things I ever said about you. Carfield, enough already! I didn't expect you to be so excited about our new satellite dish. Satellite dish? Crumb. I thought it was my new supper bowl. There, all hooked up. But what's that little sign? Caution, avoid getting tomato sauce and or mozzarella cheese on satellite dish. Manufacturer will not be responsible for side effects. Odd, I wonder why that warning is there. Now we can get 100 channels, but I don't want you watching all night. But there are movies on. And sports, and game shows where people dress like large chickens. I'm going to bed, Garfield. <sighs> Try it out. Oh, and whatever you do, don't get any tomato sauce or mozzarella on the satellite dish, okay? Why would I do that? Here's the satellite TV listings. <laughs> and I'm serious, Garfield. If you watch too much TV, you're going to turn into one. The All Yo-Yo Channel, the News in Pig Latin, Here's a documentary on clipboards through the ages. Hey, who says TV can't be educational? Microwave lasagna and a TV set. What more could one want out of life? Do the honors, Odie. What? Uh oh, bad picture. John must have hooked it up wrong. I'll go move the satellite dish. I want to watch a western, I'll point it toward Texas. Consider, if you will, the case of one Garfield the cat. Life for this feline consists of sleeping, eating, annoying small puppies and postal employees, eating some more, and watching anything and everything on television. My lasagna! A chance meeting of marinara and mozzarella. A manufacturer's warning unheeded. Now, Garfield the cat finds himself in the wrong end of that cathode ray tube. Don't touch that dial. For your end, the lasagna zone. Huh? Lightning gives him power, Igor. Observe as my creation comes to life. Oh. Look onto the face of the monster. The face that will terrorize all of mankind. 
Have you seen where my lasagna went? Hey, where am I? And how come I'm in black and white? I'm in the movie. Odie, I'm, I'm a TV show. And I think I may be a rerun. Get me out of here! <laughs> Now I'm on another channel, and I've been colorized. Well, at least this is better than the monster movie. <laughs> and the pack is racing downfield. 2,000 pounds of linebackers with a collective IQ of 80. 50, 60, this is one of the longest touchdowns in history. Bodie, change the channel, quick. Uh-oh, looks like a Western. I'll bet $20. I'll see your $20 and I'll raise you $30 and a gold watch. Well, I'll see your gold watch and raise you a million dollars. I'll see your million dollars and raise you a million dollars and the Klopman Diamond. I'll see your million dollars and the Klopman Diamond and raise you my horse. I'll see your horse and raise you a grand piano and the mayor of Davenport, Iowa. All right, I come. Show me your card. Oh, you got the old maid. I win. Why, you lily livered sidewinding low down? <laughs> Quick, Odie. Channel change. This is not much better. Try again. Worst place I could possibly be. <laughs> Correction, this is the worst place I could possibly be. Hi friends, Chip Tooth here for Chip Tooth Used Pet Emporium, the city's largest dealer in new and used household animals. Folks, we're swamped with pets and we've got to clear them out and make room for next year's models. Here's a 1978 wide body pussycat with all the standard equipment. Whiskers, claws, please the works. Oh no, I'm being sold like a used car. Hope he doesn't try to check under the hood. Folks, take it home for a free 10-day test drive. Have your mechanic put it up on the rack and check it out. And if you order before midnight tomorrow, we'll throw in a free muffler. A pun. Oh no. I better get out of here before someone gives me a smog check. Odie, help! My Garfield, I knew it. I knew you'd watch TV all night. What? Huh? Like I told you, one of these days, you're going to turn into a TV. It was just a dream. That's all. A dream. I didn't wind up in the TV, and nobody didn't break the remote control. Submitted for your approval, Garfield the Cat lover of fine food who learned the hard way that there's some TV dinners even he can't digest here in the lasagna zone. Imagination is a wonderful thing, guys. Just concentrate and you can turn a silo into anything. Anything? Anything, like Rapunzel's Tower or a giant ice cream cone, or a rocket ship, or even a... No, the farmer's gonna be really angry about this. That's some imagination. I'll say.
something about Roy. Gee, Orson, you look terrible! Yeah, I didn't sleep a wink all night. I guess our local Sandman made a mistake. Don't worry, Orson. We'll find a way to put you to sleep. I sure hope so. Oh, wise tales unlimited. May I help you? Nope, the fairy godmother's booked solid till the end of the year. Bye. Oh, wise tales unlimited. <laughs> what? The Sandman didn't get there to put you to sleep? Oh, I'm sorry. A regular Sandman is out sick, so we hired a temporary and he's new in the business. A lot of people got skipped last night. I have a very boring leprechaun I could send over. Try to give your boyfriend a break and look what happens. Okay, that takes care of the president of Brazil. Uh, 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 Orson Pig is next. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. The sun's up already and I'm way behind. Orson, there has got to be a way to put you to sleep. Hey, how about exercise? That makes people tired. Yeah, all we have to do is wear you out. Okay, I'll try anything. Lift up your leg, put it over your head. What a bizarre exercise. Now dance on your hands till your face turns red. Are you sure this is going to get me to sleep? Lie down on the ground and bounce up with a leap. Do it over and over till you fall asleep. One, two, three, snore. One, two, three, snore. You want some sleep? Well, you're gonna have plenty. Gosh, I already feel like a nap. You're not keeping up. Drop down and dance me quickly. Okay, so my aim was a little off. A glass of warm milk always puts me to sleep. The cows in the dairy barn donated a whole pailful to you. Just drink this milk and you'll go right to dreamland. <laughs> I can see this situation calls for drastic measures. Counting sheep is guaranteed to make you fall asleep, you know. That's my niece, Shirley. That's my Uncle Phil. That's my half-cousin, Ralph. Okay, everybody out of the barn. I think I'll do better on my own. What a mess! I can't go to sleep until I clean this place up. Where's the broom? Pig. Oh no. Oh, I'm a, uh, 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 allergic to wool. Nothing is going to put me to sleep. I might as well do my chores. Murray, that pig is still awake. You're not doing your job. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. I'll, I'll have him in dreamland in no time. Huh? Mr. Parker is snoozing on the job. He needs a personal wake-up call. Huh? What? He's awake again. Boy, talk about lazy. Mary, you are the worst Sandman I have ever seen. Turn in your sad, your history. Oh, well, there are 
other ways to put people to sleep. Yeah, I could be an anesthesiologist or a hypnotist or I could run a TV network. I wonder what it'd be like to be a wild animal here in the zoo. If I change this stupid sign, I'd look real fierce. Then I'd scare all the spectators. That was a pretty convincing performance, if I do say so myself. Huh? Huh? Garfield, what are you doing here? It's okay, John. I was getting kind of tired of waiting for him to show up. That's the armor of a Yojimbo. Yojimbo? Mm-hmm, that's a samurai warrior who works as someone's bodyguard. Hmm, eat as much sushi as you like. Don't mind if I do. Garfield? Believe me, you didn't miss a thing. The rice was okay, but they forgot to cook the fish. I always felt that samurai warriors were so heroic. Say, good looking, can I be your urban samurai? Samurais are ancient history, which is what you'll be if you don't knock off those corny lines. Uh, okay, fine. There ain't room enough in this town for the both of us, Toshiro. What is this Yojimbo guy got I haven't got anyway? Okay, so he can see his feet. Big deal. I am Yojimbo, protector to all. Hurry up, Garfield. I can't stand seeing someone so beautiful with someone so ugly. Gee, I didn't think they're that bad looking. Hey, cutie, I was about dumping this chicken and taking up with a real man. Who's a chicken? John's about to get his drumsticks broken. You take that back or I'll... <laughs> Shut up! Why don't you and the fur basketball split and leave me with Chicky Poo here? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Good, good idea. Hey, are you gonna let him get away with that remark? What a wimp! What a shrimp! What a wimp shrimp! <laughs> Boy, if I weren't wearing my good suit, that guy would have been sorry. It's okay, John. There was nothing you could do. I guess the day of the Yojimbo really is gone. Look at it this way. Chicken's two bucks a pound. That means you're worth about $310. I let that guy push me around. Liz must think I'm a real wimp. And I'm going to do something about it. The Samurai Yojumbo is reporting for bodyguard duty. Hey, a wimp like John needs protection. I'm here to protect John from evil. And also tooth decay. Huh? Garfield, I'm going to take some lessons in the martial arts. Wait, Yojumbo will see if it's safe. Seems to be no danger here. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Sakamoto School of the Martial Arts. I am Sakamoto-san. I want to learn to defend myself. I want to tap my inner strength. I want to feel the power of the universe within me. I want to... Oh, you want to impress pretty lady who thinks you are a wimp. Very well. Come, I shall show you some basic techniques. Notice a pattern emerging. 
Okay. To channel your inner strength, it's necessary that you assume the stuffed vulture position. Stuffed vulture. Okay, tell me how. Okay, you crouch and put your left arm behind your back, then shift your weight to the right and see what's left. I wonder how John's making out. Gee, I don't know why, but somehow John reminds me of a stuffed vulture. You have done well, my son. How can you say that? You're still alive. Thanks for going out with me again, Liz. You know, if we run into that bully, you know what I'm gonna do? The four-minute mile? I'm gonna stand up to him. I'm gonna show that baboon what I'm made of. I have a feeling we're all gonna see what John's made of. Okay, clown. What are you gonna do? Just one second. I'm gonna call the police. All right. Now, are you properly terrified? Okay, I'm through being Mr. Nice Guy. You're history, pal. This looks like a job for Yo Jumbo. Hi. Question. What am I doing? Do the words run for your life mean anything to you? Actually, you are my urban samurai. Yo, Jumbo say, he who do all the work seldom get the credit, but had better get a big dinner. Yeah! Yeah!